Hey guys, I'm back again, and we're gonna be doing another freaking try on haul. And I really didn't think that I was gonna be so excited about doing a try on haul. I watched try on hauls, but I didn't think that my most viewed YouTube video was gonna be a try on haul of all things. But here we are, so I'm doing another one. Also, not just because for the sake of doing a try on haul, I actually need new clothes because as you're aware, if you watched my last try on haul with the swimsuits, um, I've gained some weight, AKA the thickening. <laughs> what the beat? Oh my gosh. Did my belly jiggle? Because, hey, the thickening is upon us. And that's okay, but I've outgrown a lot of clothes and I just, I need more clothes. <laughs> is it really distracting I'm in a spinny chair right now? Because, deal with it. Oh, I'm really close to the camera now. Hello. So anyways, I just ordered a bunch of clothes that I really needed, but also super duper wanted. I needed new pants because I need pants to wear to work. So I bought one pair of pants and nine not pants. Anyways, um, this time we're shopping from... This is a big bag. Misguided. <laughs> Look at this packaging. I've never ordered from them before. And like, I'm into it. Also because I've never ordered from them before, I don't know if I got the sizing right. I ordered a size 10 in most things and one of them came in like a medium large. Basically now I wear a size large and number wise, I have no idea because women's fashion makes no sense. This might be over real quick and I might have to refilm all this, but hopefully not. The first thing I'm gonna try on is the pair of pants because that's most important and I feel like if the pants don't fit, most likely nothing is gonna fit. We'll see, so I guess that's it. Let's get to trying. Okay, so sorry I'm just like a floating head right now, but I already have on the next thing, which is also in a size 10. It's a tube top, bandeau top, and um, let me just show you, okay? So this is it, and it's okay. It's comfortable. It actually fits over my boobs, okay, which is shocking. I went ahead and put together an outfit the, with like clothes that I already had of stuff that I thought might dress it up, because it looks kind of naked if I'm just like, you know? So... Um, it's okay. It, like, kind of needs to be tighter, but if I get a size down, I mean, really, I wear a 36G, so what are the odds that if I size down, my boobs are still gonna stay in this? I don't know, but here's the outfit I put together with it. I don't know. I don't feel like it wants to stay on my boobs. I don't feel like this fabric is happy here, and if you're not friends with my boobs, you're not friends with me. So, I don't know. I'm a little iffy about this one, but this is what it looks like. This is it with my favorite pair of jeans. I don't know, I think it's a no-go. I don't know, I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable with my belly. Hmm. Okay, so this one is giving me a little hope. I was really excited about this dress and I look really good in it, so. But also one wrong move and like, oop. You know what I'm saying? Can you see the rest of the dress? Eh. Wow, you can really see a lot there. <laughs> this might not be an appropriate dress for any occasion. Oh. The seam where like your boob is supposed to stop is like right here. At least I guess that's what that seam is for, right? But yeah, it's like in the middle of my boob because my boobs are down here, not up here. Because <laughs> they're massive. Put a bra on. I don't know if that helped. Floating head here again. The hard thing is just that, like, for so long I had this body that everyone called, like, the perfect body. Like, you can look good in anything. And yet I still had so much trouble picking out clothes because stuff just did not fit me. It didn't look right on me. And yet now I've gained weight and stuff still doesn't look right on me but for different reasons and 
just, there's no perfect body. Like, now I, I don't have that same body that I used to. It's still the same body, it's just heavier, it's gained weight, and... <sighs> it's just hard because my body doesn't look like that anymore, so it's like, is it not perfect anymore? I still try on new clothes, I still try on these, like, figure-hugging things, and I expect to look exactly the same as I did before. And it just sucks, because I don't really want to lose this belly, because I think of it as a challenge in self-love, self-acceptance, and being able to accept different changes in your life, being able to accept your body however it looks, and I feel like that is just so, so, so important. And... Ugh. And I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat. Not, I'm not actually stress eating or anything, just by the way. <laughs> and I should add that there's nothing wrong with having a belly. <sighs> I don't see anybody else with a belly and think that they look ugly. You know, I don't think that they look bad. So why do I look at myself and think the same? <sighs> why can't I treat myself that way? Why can't I treat my own body the way that I treat strangers' bodies. It's stupid. <laughs> this dress is so pretty on me. It doesn't really fit me that great, to be honest. On to the next. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna need to order size up in a lot of this stuff, and this dress is a little too tight, but I didn't think this was really my color, and I showed my mom, and she says that I look naked, so let me show you guys. <laughs> Do I look a little bit naked? Maybe. Wow, I do do a good job at that. Whoa, how does she do that shit? I've never seen myself do this before. But yeah, this dress is not for me. But it does make the boobs look nice. Just the young prairie girl. About to do some hoeing. <laughs> Farm life hoeing. <laughs> good, good job. Okay, so this next dress was a real risk pattern-wise. It's white with big pink floral print, and um, I'm, I i should explain. I don't really look that great in white because I'm just really pale and have like a really pink undertone. So when I wear white, it really brings out the contrast of how my skin is not exactly white and therefore shows off how red my skin is. Does that make sense? Did I explain that well enough? Um, yeah, so I'm not sure how I'm going to look in this dress, but we'll see. What the hell is even going on? Am I? Do I see anything funny? Okay, now this is the same dress as the white one with the pink floral, but in a different pattern, and... Oh, it's actually kind of cute. Okay, now I don't know if these are supposed to be up on my shoulders or off the shoulder, but they're really tight on my shoulders, so I'm gonna just... Okay. I'll show you on the shoulders too. It's pretty on the shoulders, it's just so freaking tight. Sorry, I'm like not even telling you guys anything about these clothes. Like this is an okay fabric. It's kind of thin but stretchy and like the lining in it is good so it's not see-through. So there's some information for you. It's also very short. When I bent over one time, the whole thing rode up and like my butt was out. Who is meant to wear dresses this short, by the way? Like having to constantly pull them down is ridiculous. Is this just made for girls with no butt? So like it doesn't, does not ride up if you have zero butt? Like I don't... So confused, someone tell me. <gasps> so, you know how I said that this originally started because I needed to buy more pants? This is the shit that I end up buying. <laughs> <sighs> this is a gown. <laughs> so. I would love to keep this. I mean, it looks amazing, but like the straps, man, the straps are so long. I mean, I want them to be like, I want my boobs to be up like this, like held. I want, like what? What is this? You want this? 
Not this. I want this. Not this. This. Not this. This. Not this. Also, this is long. I feel like even with heels, this will be really long. <laughs> I can't believe I ordered this. This was like such an impulse last minute decision. I love it so much. I look really good in gowns. What can I say, you know? <laughs> It's really stretchy. It's also a size 10 and somehow it fits me fine. I don't understand. Well, it fits me fine except whatever's going on here. If you have any recommendations about what I would do to fix this whole strap problem, let me know because bitch, I don't like this. But I don't like this. I like this, but not this. I like this, but not this. Yo, I'm on the floor because I'm tired. Okay, this is the next one. It's a dress, and I don't really remember it, but it says skater dress. So I think it means like a skater, like V-line skirt. A V-line skirt? A-line skirt? What's a V-line skirt? One that goes like this. Um, so I have a little more hope because I feel like skater is more my silhouette because it's not so like, here's your belly, and that's, you know, what I'm self-conscious about so let's give this a try I like the print also it's cute okay I remember this now again white is not my color I look very naked and very pink but um yeah I don't know if this is really a skater skirt whatever this is not a loop nope. so this dress is okay um let me stand up here and show you guys it's pretty all right it's not super figure like hugging which is kind of nice and it's really comfortable it's really soft probably the best material of what i've tried on so far but like it's just weird like it wants to be figure hugging but it's just not like it's loose but it's not a skater skirt like it claims it is it's not like flowy or anything it's just it's weird this stool is not made for adults um let me show you the back no complaints about the back also just a little tug and my boobs would just whoop all the way out if this caught on something it's like it's that like stretchy that it would just it would just come down real quick with no warning so yeah i'm not really liking this if this was like a a flowy skirt and it was long this would be so cool not it super cute pattern just the fit i guess is like it's just weird okay so this dress is magnificent um I guess the key to self-love is just buy gowns and you'll feel better about yourself because I know I do. Um, and my Angelina Jolie, what is happening? <laughs> um, this is cute. I thought this would look more obviously like there's some twisty stuff going on right here, but you can't really tell. It looks beautiful. I don't know how I could possibly wear a bra with this, but I would like one if I could, but like, it's fine. I look amazing. But what else is new, am I right? <laughs> They put this thing like that goes all the way to like the bottom of the dress just to keep you from like wearing it out somewhere. I feel so glamorous. I think I have to keep this. And I already have pretty long gowns like this, which I also look amazing in. So like, why do I need more? <laughs> it's super soft, not like overly stretchy, but like just, it's not like fighting me anywhere. It's very willing to stretch for any curves in any direction whether it be this way or this way it's just really cute although i feel like if you didn't have big boobs like i don't know what would this look like without big boobs i don't know would it still be like covering everything i don't know questionable okay somebody answer the phone okay so this could maybe be pretty cute if it fit but the fabric the fabric is a no okay can you hear this That's a no. Yeah, I don't even want to go to the trouble of trying to do it up, but it's a blazer dress. Cute, love the concept. Great, would look phenomenal with my big boobie. But um, execution is a no. I'm not about it, even if I look hot. Okay, now this last thing. Ugh, girl, I don't know why I bought it. I need more winter clothes too. It's still July, but it was cute and you know, Kim Possible vibes, so. This is like an oversized crop sweater turtleneck and I am this bag can stop sticking to my foot. I am 
a big fan, okay? This is actually really cute. I was like dreading putting this over my head because I don't really like putting like sweater material over my head. The static from my, on my hair is not great. And I also have a huge head, so like squeezing my head through... Thank you. Squeezing my head through a uh, turtleneck hole is like not the greatest for me, but this actually has a lot of like give. It's pretty wide. Um, it's oversized, like I said, so it's not like clingy feeling. Um, and it's super soft. It feels good. I mean, there's like a hint of cheapness, but it's forgivable because it is very comfortable and very soft. And um, yeah, I love it. I put on a pair of shorts because I don't know, I'm the psycho, whatever. <laughs> It's really cute. I like it a lot. This would be great with like some high-waisted pants when it's actually cold out and not like a billion degrees as it is in North Carolina right now. But yeah, I love it. Yes. Also, this came in a medium large, so that's why it fits so great. I'm gonna go ahead and hang up this sweater or put it away with my winter stuff, one or the other, because I'm definitely keeping this. This is so cute and I love it so much. Um, I love cropped things with high-waisted pants. It's just such a look and I love it, especially when they're oversized crops. <sighs> so good. Okay, so I'm gonna reorder a few things in some different sizes and then I'll get back to you guys, okay? So, see you soon. Bye. Hello friends, I'm back. It's been about two weeks since I filmed the first half of this video and now I'm back and I have this new box full of more misguided stuff and um, honestly I tried to reorder some things but a lot of the stuff that I got that I wanted to reorder they didn't have it in the sizes that I needed so I reordered one dress and I think that's it. The rest is all different stuff that you haven't seen before so yay! In full disclosure, I already tried on the two pairs of pants that I ordered because I desperately needed pants to wear to work and I was quite disappointed, but you'll, um, I'll still show you them and you'll see why, okay? Let's get started. Alright friends, so, oh, let me take this clip out so I start looking crazy. So, you probably remember this dress from last time. Sorry, the lighting is not good right here. Uh, yeah, I got it in a size 12 and a 14. I don't think I'll need to try the 14 because I think the 12 is pretty okay, but let me show you what it looks like. Also, some lights are out in my room, so we're like a little bit darker than we were the last time I filmed. Um, okay, so I don't feel like I'm gonna flash people like nearly as easily with this in the bigger size. Like, I wonder what it will do for you when um, stuff actually fits. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. The only thing that like I really just don't like about this is that the fabric feels kind of weird. Like the front of it is kind of sticky from the way that I guess they like printed this design on it. My belly isn't nearly as like sticky outy in this dress. Because it's not like going, Hleh. I don't know if y'all can tell last time how long this dress was, but it's like, hello. What's weird about this is I can tell that they made it with a serger instead of a sewing machine, which there's nothing wrong with that. But when you use a serger, when you finish going all the way through the garment, it ends with like a little tail of thread at the end that you can like cut off or tie in a knot or something. I don't really remember what you're supposed to do with it. But sometimes you can tell because it'll like still have that on a garment and that's like kind of fine because usually it's on the inside. This one, for some reason, it's on the outside. Like right here, can you tell? There's like thread coming out of my nipple. <laughs> Is my nipple even there? Anyways, um, yeah, and then also right here, there's like a little boo right there. <laughs> I'm very undecided about this dress. Like for one, can I really go around and not flash anyone like with this? I'm not the most ladylike, as you would say. Okay, I'm just disappointed in this. Okay, let me show you. So, this is what I was afraid of. Who said, let's make this thing, but make it out of this fabric? If it was just like a, a jersey or something like, you know, breathable but stretchy, that would have been great. But what is this, like polyester or something? I don't know. It's that like kind of crusty feeling material. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, it's not really comfortable. My arms are like feeling the little tiny, it's like microscopic little pinpricks is what this fabric feels like. It's not good. And it's supposed to be like a leopard print baby doll dress. It's a good length for like not showing your butt. Like I can raise my arms and like you can't see nothing. But um, aside from that, yeah, this is stupid. And it also wants like the collar keeps wanting to be closed and buttoned all the way up. But like, can you imagine? Like, I'm not about to walk around like this. It's got a little thing right here to bring it in and make it like kind of a flowy bottom, but it doesn't really do that much. It's just boo, not a fan. Okay, so, stepping on bags. 
So these are the pants I ordered. This is the shirt I already had. So they're okay. They're mom jeans, so naturally they're like a little ugly. But I knew what I was getting into. I just always wish that they were a little less ugly. They always look much less ugly on the model. You know what I mean? <laughs> I tried to like cuff them, style them with this half like tucked kind of shirt look. Um, make them look a little bit better. I'm trying hard not to break this stool. But um, yeah, they're okay. The problem that I had was when I first tried them on and I leaned over to cuff them, the waistband felt like somebody had put a belt around my bare skin. And when I leaned over, it felt like they pulled it really tight. I couldn't finish cuffing my jeans. I had to like sit up and take a break. I just recuffed them and I didn't really have that problem. So like, I don't know. I had that problem with my favorite pair of jeans from Target when I first got them. And then I tried them on again later and I didn't have that problem. And now I'm not really having that problem. So I just, I don't know. But also, is there anything that I can wear to work with this and it not look ugly? I mean, it looks okay with this shirt. But also, what shoes do you wear with this? I don't know. Do I need to get Birkenstocks? Am I going to be that kind of gay now? I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards yes. Should I get Birkenstocks? Are they comfortable? Someone tell me. Um, yeah. Mom jeans. Okay, so this is another pair of pants. And I was disappointed with these two, but um, let me show you. The problem with these is that they're just so long. I mean, they're not crazy long, but they're, okay. I just really want pants like this. And like, they fit great up here. They like zip, they're not like too tight or anything. They're for one made out of an unexpected material. So they're kind of like, not exactly itchy, but they're like itchy's cousin. You know what I mean? Like, it's just something a little bit less than comfortable. And my legs need to be several inches longer in order to not make them baggy. Like, if my sweatpants fit like this, which they do because they're men's pants and they're too long for me, but that's fine because they're sweatpants, you know? But these, on the other hand, I feel like I'm, I've raided someone else's closet and I'm borrowing their clothes, you know? And that's not what I, how I want to feel, <laughs> but I'm wearing my own clothes. And like, I'm tempted to keep them because I just have no pants right now. Like, actually no pants. I've been wearing my mom's pants to work and they're like too big for me and she's been duct taping the hem so that they will be short enough that I don't trip on them. Yeah, no, I just, I don't know if I can, I don't think I can do it. They're just not that good. Okay, so this is our last item and it's a pair of shorts. Mom shorts. And it's in a size 12, just like the pants. But for some reason, it fits super weird. Like, it's trying to go all the way up my butt. And, like, you can't really do a high kick without it pulling here and, like, on your crotch. Like, what's going on? So, I think I might try on. I also ordered a size 14 in this. So, I'm going to try that. I don't also think that they're all that flattering. Like, it's weird. They're just very tight here. And they just kind of, I don't know. But they don't flare out in a way that gives you room everywhere. It's like they want you to have no butt. And I'm like, I'm sorry I have a butt though. So let me try the 14. Okay, here's the 14. So I like this fit much better. But here's what I think about it. It's definitely like looser now and I like a baggy fit. But the thing is, it's super ugly. Okay, the fit of like the shape and cut of this ugly the wash like with this kind of like the faded right here and like there it's like super ugly the whole thing is just ugly and i can't remember what it looked like on the website but <laughs> i don't understand how it could look anything other than ugly so why did i buy it i don't know but um yeah i hate it so i mean i don't hate it because it's comfortable and i can't really hate things that are comfortable but it sucks <laughs> Well, that concludes the rest of this video. Um, sorry that was a really uneventful second half. I don't know what I'm keeping right now, but I'll make sure to let you know in the editing so you guys probably already know by now what I'm keeping, what I'm sending back. Next week is gonna be a try-on haul from Pretty Little Thing and um, stay tuned for that. And sorry I've been away for a little bit on YouTube. It's because I've been one, super busy, and two, super tired. I just made a 48 hour film for a competition this past weekend. So make sure you check that out when it's gonna be up on my channel. It should be up not too long from now. And sometime soon, I think I'm gonna go ahead and order some stuff from Fashion Nova so I can do a Fashion Nova haul for you guys. And um, also because I desperately need new pants and uh, the quest continues. Thanks so much for watching you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Do you think about us? Do you think about us? When you say that no, I know the end of it all. I'll never get a look at my side. Oh, so tonight. We can't be touched, but it makes me feel weak. I can tell you're shy.
I need love me naked, sexy as well as confidence. It's game over.